Oh, what's up guys? How are you guys doing? It's your girl, but super real good back with another video. Oh, oh. My phone lights up, but it's never you. I can't help but feel so lonely. And all these things that I can't undo. I'm falling apart so slowly. So guys, we're watching The Haunting of the Hill House, Season 1, Episode 4. Yes, we are on Episode 4. We're almost halfway through the first season. <sighs> wow, crazy, I know. But my theory was right, I think. I think they are going down the line of the siblings and their perspective of the of the fateful day, you know. And I can't wait to see who's next. Is either Luke or Nelly. I don't know, but we shall see which one comes next. I would love to see like I'm especially looking forward to Nelly's perspective and what exactly happened to her to make her want to do that. But I'm also interested in Luke. I feel like, you know, we haven't got a lot of timeline of what happened to Luke in that time. The only thing that really happened is he visited his his brother, his older brother, went to his apartment and tried to steal his iPad. He said his iPad or his laptop he tried to steal something and a camera so i want to know what was leading up to that we all know that luke is a bit of a has a bit of a drug problem so it would be interested interesting to see him what what happened before it happened and also they say he he they don't, he doesn't know what happened to nelly yet so i'm hoping that we get to see his reaction and how he handles things knowing that his twin sister is no longer here. Probably not gonna be the easiest thing for him, obviously. But yeah, last episode was definitely the most interesting, even though we're only like three, three episodes in. But seeing Theo's perspective was definitely crazy. It gave me a lot of chills. It gave me a lot of jump scares and good transitioning. I love a good transition and they did they keep impressing me with all these transition scenes you know you think i'd be used to it by now but no i'm not yeah we can we can obviously see that theo if someone touches her or she touches them she gets a bit of a sense of what their life is like but sometimes it's hard for her to read like that kid obviously built a lot of walls buried so deep that she, not even theo could sense it so i guess in that aspect it's harder for her to sense that but i'm glad she stuck through it and she helped the child, thank God. <sighs> and you know, she used the money from the books, which I think her, well, I think I know Cheryl still doesn't know till this day that she took the money for the books, even though they agreed they wouldn't. You know, she used it for her degree, so good on her. I'm glad she used it for something that she really, really wanted to use it in, you know, and not just go spend a week in Paris, you know. With the money she's making as a psychologist, she probably can go to Paris by now, but even though she's still living with her sister Shirley, I don't know why she's still living with her if she has enough money to get her own place. I just I assume, you know, I think psychologists make enough money unless you're a freelance. I don't know. Unless you're working for the I don't know. It's either one. There's certain types of like work that they pay less than the other one. I don't know what it is, but I'm I don't know. Maybe she's like her sister Shirley and she um, gives people a discount and that's why she's not making the most amount of money she can make. Either way, she is making a lot, I think. So uh, maybe she's just staying for the sake of her sister. And also at the very, at the almost very end, we saw that Shirley's husband and her were talking about like the checkbook that Shirley found. She knows, like Theo knows what's going on. And she says she's gonna be pissed and that both of them are gonna be in trouble. I hope it's not that something like super sus, but I guess we won't know until we we know. So I'm just going to assume the worst until it's proven otherwise. But yeah, guys, before I begin, I just wanna say if you've not yet hit the subscribe button, go ahead and hit it. And also if you wanna check out my other channels, they are linked below in the description box and yeah. Without further ado, 
let's just get on with the video. Is it gonna be okay? It's gonna be Luke's perspective, okay? Come say no to that face like that. That's a big boy hat. You want this? Well, you are a big boy. <laughs> it's a twin thing. <laughs> Oh my god, Theo said there was someone sick in my bed. Oh, you know what? I think yeah, this was after because he woke up. He woke up midnight. I think that's when they found they found out. Okay, yeah, this is definitely after. What? Who's that? Yeah, go back to bed. Go back to bed. Or is she something you don't want to see? Are you kidding me?
It seems like screaming makes them go away, so I would have screamed my head off. How is nobody else hearing this? I guess they have their own demons to deal with. First rehab, Joey? Uh, it's far from it. Some of us are addicted to treatment centers, huh? <laughs> Sykes? Like Just saying. You know she stood up. That person. There's this man we've lost. Let's help. We're freezing all the time. Ellie in July, the air conditioning, freezing. Muscle aches, thick as boards, nausea. And he's there. I love that we got to see his perspective of things and how he looks like he is going for drugs and his perspective. <sighs> wow, it's crazy. Don't tell me she's gone. Thank <laughs> you. 
My favorite number is so. Now it's dead. Oh, my theory was right. Oh my god. Oh my god. I was gonna say that's why he felt he, he's feeling like this. I think that's why his neck's been hurting now and he's cold and stiff like a dead body. So guys that was my reaction to the haunting of the hill house season one episode four that was oh, that was a big pill to swallow oh my god poor luke oh my god he's been feeling like crap all day and he's been wondering and he's so confused on why and I had I had the theory in my head um when Lou called the facility again and his brother was there and then I was like oh yeah Nelly's dead and he was talking about how his neck was hurting and he was cold and he was his bones were not bones but his, he was stiff and I know, I knew that he didn't take anything because we literally was with him all day. So I know it was a withdrawal. So I'm just like, wait a minute, wait a minute. And they say they have a twin connection. And when his foot was hurting, Nelly felt the same way. It's like the whole episode was leading up to this and that since Nelly was dead, he felt dead almost, you know? Wow. I like how they set up that episode because it just came 360 and that's crazy. Wow, I can't believe. Poor Luke, oh my god. I hope his family doesn't think that he was using because No, I get I get it, you've been hurt so much that you don't know what to believe anymore. But this time is different. I hope at least someone believes him. I hope that I hope that Theo, you know, can touch him or he can touch her and they can sense each other. She can sense him and know that he's telling the truth. Hopefully that happens because someone has to believe him. And if it's this if it's the psychic of the family, then let it be the psychic of the family, honestly. Wow. I can't imagine what this entire family has been through and on top of that now that Nellie's gone I'm pretty sure it's because the house never left her especially I'm sure when we get to the next episode it's gonna be about her and why she did what she did and that Luke said Luke said it wasn't a suicide so I'm hoping they address that in the next episode and that we get a clear understanding of what exactly happened that day and what drove her to the house, what made her do that, made it look like a suicide. 
just like their mom you know luke and yuji said that his mom committed suicide and maybe that wasn't true too you know maybe the house did something this is all just like a lot to handle and i just really 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 hope that everything works out for this film because i've been through so much already god they've each been touched by the house one way or another even even steve steven even though he has experienced the least amount i'm sure that there's been something you know that he's been doing that is because of the house maybe it's because you know his writing he's into spooky stuff he's into you know creepy houses and creepy people because of the house <sighs> wow but by far luke uh, you know theo is my favorite character so far and I think Luke comes at second. He's such a good actor. Like he's so good. Oh my God. He was the most like convincing of them. He made me think that he was an actual character, which is the point of acting, making people think that that character exists and that this ramp possibility of him existing. And he was definitely the most convincing and he played the character so well. For a second there, I'm like, is this Luther? Luke actually exist you know of course there are like people out there that have similar stories to Luke and can relate on that front but wow that was chilling to the bone really chilling and I really did that was a really good episode really really good episode but yeah guys I hope you guys enjoy my reaction and enjoy me don't forget to give me a thumbs up and comment down below what you thought and that's me peace